Hello guys, welcome to Dad in the Dawn. With Wimbledon well and truly underway, we're going to have a look at how the draw is shaping up and try to bring you our predicted semi-final lineups for both the men and women's singles tournaments. So we'll start things off with the top of the men's draw, which contains number one seed Yannick Sinner. He's most likely to face Daniil Medvedev in the quarterfinals. You do have Ben Shelton and Gregor Dimitrov as challengers in there as well, although I do not see either of these men being able to stop the young Italian at the moment. He's on great form and we're entering the grass season, which is his favourite surface. Medvedev is probably more suited to the hard courts and I think the young Italian will just be too much for him on this occasion. So I'm going to lock in Yannick Sinner as semi-finalist number one. Moving on to quarter number two now, and this should see Carlos Alcaraz facing Casper Ruud, although you will have Hugo Humbert and Tommy Paul as the main threats here, although I don't see even men progressing past round four. If you are looking for a bit of an outsider, there is Alexander Bublik. Wild number 23, he is a grass court specialist and he should not be overlooked here. Do you think Alcaraz has too much for Ruud? Ruud would need Alcaraz not to be at his best to win, and I don't see that happening for the defending champions. I'm going to lock in Carlos Alcaraz as semi-finalist number two. Quarter number three now, and this has been blown wide open by number six seed Andre Rublev going out in the first round. So this opens it up for Stefano Tsitsipas to play Alexander Zverev. Although you do have Taylor Fritz and Jack Draper in there. I'm not expecting too much from the challengers there, especially Draper. I think that's just the English media overhyping him. I do think Alexander Zverev comes through this one. It won't be easy. It could be a four or five setter against CC Pass. But I backed him to win the French Open, so I'm going to back him to win this part of the draw and lock in Alexander Zverev as semi-finalist number three. Quarter number four, this should see Herbert Hercats facing Novak Djokovic with Alex Di Manuel and Holger Rune as the main threats. I do feel that Novak has probably not recovered from this injury he got at the French Open. You see it all the time, he looked okay in round one. They play a couple of rounds, go up a level and then get found wanting. I am going to back Hercats to come through here due to his big serve, he get a lot of cheap points. But either of the other men could knock Novak out here. All I'm going to guarantee is Novak will be eliminated by one of these three men, but I'm going to say it will be Hercats that comes through this side of the draw and makes up our semi-finals as semi-finalist number four. If this was to be the semi-final lineup, I would back Sinner to beat Alcarez in a thriller and Zverev to overcome Hercats fairly easily, maybe 3-1 at worst. And then Sinner beating Sverev in the final and becoming the Wimbledon champion for the first time. If you are looking for an outsider for a bit of an each-way punt, I would be targeting Holger Rune and Stefanos Tsitsipas. They've got fairly easier sides of the draw. They avoid Sinner or Alcarez until the final and you could get them for 33-1 to to 40-1. to So they would be the guys I would be targeting for a long shot. But overall, I think it's Yannick Sinner's tournament to lose. So we'll take a look at the women's draw now, starting with the first quarter. And for me, this is Iga Swiatek to lose. Her hardest game will be against Yelena Ostapenko in round four. If she comes through that, it's probably going to be Danielle Collins in the quarterfinals. But I don't think Danielle Collins has got the game to beat her. Ostapenko is the biggest threat here. But for me, this is a fairly routine Iga Swiatek locking that in as semi-finalist number one. Quarter number two should see Elena Rybakina versus Ons Jaber. We do have Jessica Pagula and Samsonova as your main threats here. I do think Rybakina will be the favourite, although I am going to back Ons Jaber to come through here. I think she's really good on grass, did really well last year and she never gives up. Rybakina is fairly consistent but does have the odd moody game in there. Ons Jaber, with her determination, can exploit that and I'm going to lock her in as semi-finalist number two. Quarter number three sees Daria Kazakina and Emma Raducanu as the favoured pairings here. Although they do have to face each other quite early in the segment, I'm actually going to go for Maria Sakari to come through this one. She's a slight outsider, but she's overlooked in many tournaments. Did well last year, very good on grass, and has gone under the radar at previous tournaments. Always good for a quarter final. I'm going to back her to do one better here and lock her in as semi finalist number three. Quarter number four now is all set up for Coco Goff to face Jasmine Paolini. 
although I don't think Paulini will do as well as she did at the French. I think she'll actually go out to Madison Keys, so it would be Goff versus Keys for me on this one. Although, do not be surprised if Goff goes out to Naomi Osaka. She did really well at the French, nearly put Swiatek out, so this is going to be a really hard segment of the draw. I do think Coco Goff comes through, but it'll be a complete minefield. Any of these four could go through, but I'm just going to back the American to come through on this one and lock her in as quarter-finalist number four. Based on those lineups, I'm going to say that Andre Jaber shocks the world and knocks out Iga Swiatek, and Coco Goff is too much for Maria Sakari, and Andre Jaber wins her first Wimbledon, goes one better than last time, and beats Coco Goff in the final. If you are looking for something slightly better, I know Andre Jaber herself is 11-1, to 1, but if you want something a little more juicier for an each way, you have got Maria Sakari and you have got Yelena Ostapenko, who are much higher odds, about 33 to 1. So they would be my outside shots there. But I am backing Andre to win this one and shock the world and get her first Wimbledon title. So that brings us to the end of this video. Please let us know in the comments who you think will win the men and women singles titles. We do try to get back to everyone who comments. We do appreciate all the help and support we get. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and we will catch you on the next video.